For certain tasks, quantum computers are much faster than our existing computers. It's like an express train compared to a snail. So it is possible to do very complicated calculations with quantum computers that would simply take far too long today. Large companies, research institutes and countries are working very hard to make quantum computers usable. But how are they even different from the computers we know so far? This is a bit. It is the smallest electronic unit with which a conventional computer works. A bit can be either 0 or 1. All information on our computers or smartphones today consists of bits that are zeros and ones, like texts, videos or voice messages that we send via messenger for example. They are transformed into huge sequences of numbers. Quantum computers work quite differently. They do not work with electrical states, but use qubits or quantum bits. Qubits are special quanta, which we can influence purposefully. Qubits can be in state 0 and 1 at the same time, but also in an infinite number of states in between. This effect is hard for us to imagine and is called superposition in the quantum world. It is like a coin spinning very fast. It is neither heads nor tails until we stop it. It's the same with qubits, which have to determine whether they are 0 or 1 only when they are measured. With this effect and the entanglement, meaning the connection of qubits, we are trying to make calculations. However, this does not work perfectly yet. This is because it is difficult to keep the qubits in such a state for a long time. Moreover, sometimes there are still computational errors that need to be corrected. And it is also not so easy to read out the qubits correctly. Currently, there is no quantum computer that can be used effectively in general, but it has been shown that the idea works. To produce the qubits and use them for computations, there are different methods. For superconducting quantum computers, circuits are cooled extremely low and simulate an atom. For ion trapped quantum computers, individual atoms are charged and trapped with electric fields. But there are also other methods that are being researched. But we don't know yet which method will really succeed in the future. Today, supercomputers can simulate quantum computers. So quantum computers won't be able to calculate new things, but by making use of quantum mechanics, they can be much faster in some cases. This is in particular true for computations, where a large number of different possibilities need to be evaluated and tested. For example, considering a maze, a normal computer has to go all the ways once to find the shortest path to the exit. Quantum computers, however, could take all paths simultaneously. They could also help us improve machine learning, find new drugs, or better understand and research the climate. 